everyone. Today is the, I don't know, I cannot remember the day. Give me one second. Give me one second. It's the 7th of May. Um, 7th of May, first day of me using the camera outside. Uh, I'm very, ha very, very happy, very excited. I'm very scared because this, this baby is quite expensive. Um, but I'm happy, I'm excited. So we, I just thought I'd bring you guys along because there is some stuff that I have to do. That's the bus. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I made it. I'm at the surgery. Uh, there's people. <laughs> I'm actually so awkward whenever I have to film. Like, I would love to just be the type of person that doesn't get shy and just holds the camera like this. Like, look at the angle. You can tell I'm confident I'm holding the camera up, but no, I just feel like this. Can I hide myself? Um, so yeah, I said that there were a few things that I had to do, and these are getting my tonsil checked because these bitches they're growing they're like plants they're growing they shouldn't grow tonsils should not grow then i need to go and change some money like currency wise so i need to change them from euros to um pounds and lastly i have some uh film from a disposable camera that i need to get developed all right let's go Right, so oh nice and yellow. Um oh it's too yellow. Wait. Is it possible to convert currencies? Oh my right. is it possible to exchange currencies? We can do Yeah yeah. Allora, buongiornissimo signore e signori, vi comunico che le tonsille non me le fanno togliere perché prima apparentemente li devi ammalare sette volte why am I speaking in Italian? Ladies and gentlemen, let me update you on um, what the doctor said. So basically, they will not remove my tonsils because apparently you have to get ill seven times before they remove your tonsils. Like, you need to get tonsillitis seven times in a year before you can legally ask to get them removed. And I'm on my fifth time, so... Um, yeah. We already did one of the things I couldn't film because of course it was a bank. So I changed the money, I changed the currency, it's now in my account. Uh, now we are going to Sutton. I got my, my little donut and you may ask why did you get a donut? It's 1pm, you might as well have lunch. No, because I, um, I am going to develop the film from my disposable camera and it's going to take a while so I'll just sit down, have a cappuccino, have a nice mocha and in the meantime I'm going to have a donut. Smart. Um, ah, my arm hurts. Hey, that's my one. Look at this. Look how aesthetic. Ah, uh, yes. If people ask me why I'm talking to a fucking camera, I'm just gonna say that I'm a tourist. I thought that was my exit train. I literally shot myself. But I'm getting a Greg sausage roll. Fuck. She did a little heart thing. Me. Can you can you see him? Hello? Excuse me. The fuck? How does this camera zoom? Look at this. Oh my god. This woman, this camera is sexy. God damn. It's me again. Surprise, surprise, bitch. So I got the pictures. It took me an hour and 20 minutes. It's literally about to be 4 p.m. I'm not even hungry at this point, but I am sad. Let me find the light. There we go. I am sad because I was I, basically while I was waiting, I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to sit here for 40 minutes in a cafe with a coffee that is now cold. Um, so I went around and I went into um, Foot Locker. I'm not usually a shoe person, but at the moment I'm kind of into Jordans. And there were, there were these Jordans and there were, insert picture here. Turns out it was a six and a half. I tried them on and in my opinion they were fine but the guy was actually really really nice. He was like oh um, I think you should go for a size six. There's a bit too much room too, too much room too much room on the toe. Like if he wants to just have sales he could have just said you know what yeah get them they're fine don't worry about it. He but he was actually he was like honest and he said I think you should go for a size six. Am I happy? I'm bittersweet because they were 105 pounds 
and I have 95 pounds in my bank account at the moment so if you do the maths you know that's not exactly how it should work it's a sign I'll get another pair some other time I'm really sad about the shoes I'm not gonna lie they don't do them online in no website I was literally tempted like should I go back and get them anyway but then I was like it's literally half a size bigger I can't fucking fill it in like I fill my fake boots yeah I shall see you when I get home I'm so tired goodbye I just left the pharmacy it's almost 6 p.m. Um, so this guy's looking at me the fucking at. basically it turns out the doctor said that he sent off the prescription I got to the pharmacy and he was like and the pharmacist was like nah we haven't received anything so most likely he was a um, trainee doctor he said so it had to be authorized and no one actually authorized it but because today is Friday the pharmacist was like I, I was like should I just come back on Monday and he was like you could but it's an antibiotic so you need to start it as soon as possible so I would just say don't worry just chill stay in on the sofa and I'll wait I'll just refresh the page I'm still thinking about the Jordans I am so sad my life has my life is sad my bag is literally looking like this I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes of pills in my bag. Well, I went to Boots, which for those that don't know, Boots is like a, it's a shop that sells like, oh, thank you. Oh God, now she's seeing a girl cross the road with a fucking camera. Um, for those that don't know, Boots is like a shop that sells makeup, medicines. It's like a pharmacy but more they sell perfumes and all that stuff and when i was going out the security guard at the doors blocked like stopped me he was like he pointed at something in my bag and i was like what are those and i was like what like he, he thought i stole medicines and i was like bro why the fuck would i steal when my bag is transparent like if i were to steal something First of all, I wouldn't steal fucking antibiotics, would I? Second of all, I wouldn't steal when my bag is transparent, would I? But I don't think he actually uh, processed that. I don't think anyone gives a shit about what antibiotics I'm taking, but I'm telling you anyway. So, I got probiotics, because he was like, you're taking a lot of antibiotics, you might want to uh, take probiotics as well, which is like to, Safeguard, we could say, safeguard your gut, and I was like, <laughs> uh, that was it. I love doing vlogs. I love filming vlogs, but I don't actually know if anyone cares about like what I do in my day. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video now. But if I do want to film something else inside the house, then it's gonna be an extra. So. I'll give editing Stefania time to edit new clips here now. So go ahead. If something else happened, put them now. They glow in the fucking dark. Okay, I guess you're back. Uh, I know I said I was going to post twice a week and ended up not posting for like three months, but that's what you subscribe for. Uh, and I'm the one that would love to make YouTube a job. Well, if you like the video, good, great, smashing. And I'll see you next week or in another video. Uh, bye bye.